Let us read a chapter from the book, Moments of Meditation, dictated by the spirit, Joanna G. Angelis. Modern life is full of entertainment and lacks spirituality. It is dragging humankind towards the exterior to the playthings of senses and detriment of harmony that should be the basis for any realization. Without harmony, all that we achieve falls apart because those achievements are ephemeral. Many hallucinating people are thrown into the trenches of society. The anxious, depressed, and unsatisfied follow them, illustrating the failure of ethico-moral values and the high technological ambitions that do not make human beings happy. The breakdown and absurdities are everywhere, running freely together with corruption of all types. And those things are conspiring against ideals of nobility, justice, and harmony of life. There is a great disbelief of humankind in itself and a terrible indifference for tomorrow that is pushing human beings to experience a public hopelessness which threatens culture, civilization, family, and marriage. Reserve periodically moments for meditation. Meditation is an imperious necessity that imposes itself before any realization. In the meditative state, you calm down your emotions and clarify your discernment. When we harmonize our feelings, we don't need to alienate ourselves in order to run away from our commitments that we should fulfill due to our social and human responsibilities. However, we should reserve some mental space and time in order to achieve this realization. Start your training by meditating daily in the thoughts of Christ and try to retain those thoughts by repetition and applying them to your daily conduct. Increase little by little the time you dedicate to meditation in order to tame your undomesticated thoughts and quiet down your unaccustomed body. Physical sensations and distractions that appear one by one should be taken care of calmly while keeping your mind attuned to the central idea until you overcome all distractions. Meditation should be attentive, but not tense or rigid. Concentrate while placing yourself in a comfortable position that does not allow you to fall asleep. Make every effort to fight against your inferior desires and lower inclinations. Choose a place that is tranquil and pleasant and also available to you on a regular basis, thus enriching your psychosphere with the superior quality of your aspirations. Reserve a calm hour when you feel rested. Invade the unknown country of your mind. At first, reflect without judging or censoring as if you are a harmonical observer witnessing an event that cannot be avoided. Breathe calmly feeling the air that blesses your life. Find the company of people who are morally healthy, wise, and harmonizing for you. Some days will be more difficult than others for this exercise of meditation. The training, however, will be responsible for the efficacious results. Don't fight against your thoughts, but conquer them patiently. The practice will become so natural that whenever you face a challenge or problem, you will be conducted to the predominant idea in yourself, which is the tranquility of discernment. Gandhi used to fast in peace for several days without suffering from mental disturbances because he used to meditate on those kinds of occasions. Jesus, during the 40 days of fasting, kept himself attuned to God and foresaw the testimonial of Gethsemane. When in profound meditation he prayed 
and allowed himself to be arrested by the hands of injustice through the great testimonial he offered to humanity. Alternative therapies are offering us an extraordinary view of the human being. It is thanks to them that we can perceive an interaction between spirit and body, between mind and matter. We are what we construct with our minds. Everything that we project in our unconscious is filed there and it will return in some way, causing us to feel well or not, disease or health, happiness or sadness. In some way, our unconscious is at this moment full of depressing thoughts, anguishes, despondency, and principally many disturbing manifestations. The great proposal of visualizations is to give you the opportunity to inject new ideas into your own unconscious so you may absorb them so that they can later be projected onto the body affecting the emotional behavior and psyche reactions as nobody can live without thinking every time you have a negative thought substituted for a constructive thought visualization is a therapeutic practice without any type of religious commitment or others of another nature its main objective is to help a person find himself to reprogram his mind to project himself into the future and to begin to live it from there on. Sitting or lying down in a comfortable position or in the lotus position, breathe calmly Try to make the oxygen penetrate and fulfill its task, replenishing the cells and removing from your body little toxins, taking them away. Breathe in deeply. Keep your lips closed. Then hold the oxygen in your lungs and breathe out gently releasing the air very slowly so your thoughts become calmer the confusion of afflictions disappears and you begin to relax very slowly relaxing your scalp your front face lips neck, shoulders, arms, and hands. Your hands can be facing outwardly or resting on the surface where you find yourself. Next, relax your chest, the abdomen, the lower abdomen, thighs, knees, legs, feet. Breathe very gently, peacefully. Pay attention to your own breathing. Feel the air 
going into your lungs, fulfilling the task to which they are destined. Breathe more. Once again, now. Visualize a beautiful landscape, a green field. Visualize a beautiful landscape, a green field at sunset. Visualize it. You are at this wonderful place. Look around. Feel the wind blowing against your face. A pleasant breeze with a very slight perfume. Feel it. The breeze of nature. Look at the scenery. Your vision reaches out towards the horizon. The burning sunset. Golden in colors. See the distant mountains and a ray of light covering the heights. You are well. You are perfectly tranquil. Now, look further. In front of you, there is a little lake. A blue lake. Infinitely blue, reflecting the sky, which is also blue. Come closer to the lake. See a large tree with branches that almost reach the edge of the lake. Step into the sand. It is pleasant and gives way under your feet, under your weight. Walk on it. Smile. You are happy. At this moment, you have no problems. Your mind is open to beauty. Feel the beauty of the scenery. Live it. It is not often that you have an opportunity like this. Feel it. And notice that night arrives quietly, throwing its immense veil all over nature. It has been such a long time since you last saw nightfall. Look at the canopy of the sky. It is embroidered with stars. One here, another one over there. And you, you are at the edge of the lake, looking at the stars. And the breeze now is even more pleasant. It seems that it is entering you, giving you a sensation of fulfillment, a wonderful sensation. You are in the midst of nature, and the sky is full of stars. Now, try to look at one of them. Contemplate it. Be taken in by the shine of this heavenly silvery body. And remember, remember someone with whom you have a difficult relationship. Someone who you might have hurt or someone who might have hurt you. 
this is your opportunity to make peace think about this person concentrate bring this person to the edge of the lake on this starry and beautiful night bring this person and observe with deference as this person arrives look at him see his frowned demarked face his upset look come closer to your enemy greet him say hello if he does not reply to your greeting do not worry smile and stretch out your hand if he refuses touch his shoulder but try to hold his hand look at him in the eyes and say I'm sorry I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry or better forgive me and I forgive you there is no place in my inner world for bad feelings regarding you let me embrace you and embrace him embrace him with a sensation of life from someone who is free from upset free from profound resentment with the sentiment of someone who is free of someone who loves embrace your enemy transmit to him the feeling of well-being that invades you note that he changes his attitude he smiles ask him once again I'm sorry forgive me and you could see him dissolve in your arms and now return to your previous well-being when we carry upsets we carry mental waste when we have negative feelings it's as if the machinery of our own psyche is full of damaging rust now that you are alone breathe in the air of this night that has been so blessed by the stars breathe in hold it breathe out now that you are free from the enemy that you were bringing within wouldn't it be nice to bring in your love the love of your life someone for whom you nurture a profound affection a comforting one bring this person close to the lake think about this person think call him by his name tenderly give your voice the enchanting melody of love call him see him coming smiling with open arms embrace your loved one 
say how much I missed you feel his heart beating envelop your loved one in this vibration of sweet and gentle enchantment take him by the hand and take your love to sit under the sacred generous tree with many leaves and its branches are projected over the edge of the lake sit your loved one sit him next to you get closer put your head on your loved one's shoulder touch his face feel his heat say how much I love you I love you infinitely be silent now with the magic silence that love fills with unspoken words enjoy the presence of your loved one smile with fulfillment it is so good to be able to love it is even better when love is returned because it is transformed into a wave that comes and goes in a circuit of harmony your loved one is leaving he dissolves now stand up come and stand under a special star look up and see this silvery body pulsating sending out light fall in love with the star and you will feel and see that a ray comes down towards you and gently touches your coronal chakra at the top of your head you feel a light shock on contact with the energy it is the divine light God's light projected by a very bright star let this light come into your body and if you have an infection or any affliction or any organic problem the divine light will heal you observe how it enters you gently it comes into your brain and the neurons become illuminated as magical fireflies turning on their miraculous lights observe it the brain is illuminated and the light reaches the optical nerve and exits by the eyes it reaches the auditive nerve and exits by the ears it goes down a bit further and exits through the nasal airways going down further it fills your mouth 
Your face now seems like a tranquil lamp, irritating clarity. The light goes down further and further to the medulla, down the spine, enters the bones. It reaches the base of your spine, the kidneys, and lights them up. You experience a cool and pleasant sensation, one that is balsamic and healing. It goes down the throat. It reaches the larynx, the pharynx, the trachea, the esophagus, and it goes into the stomach to harmonize the digestive juices, the acids, and alkaline substances. It radiates through the chest as if dressing the thorax gently penetrating it. It goes through the aorta. It enters the heart. And you can see your heart pulsating with an indescribable shine. It continues. Now, it enters the gallbladder goes along the small intestine, the large intestine. After that, it enters the liver. It penetrates the liver and harmonizes this mixed gland. It takes over all the organs of the lower abdomen It goes down further and reaches the reproductive organs, the sexual organs, and you feel a strange sensation of coldness, a slight tingling in those organs. The light goes down through the thighs, both thighs while the light also goes down through both arms, forearms, hands, fingers, and on the thighs, it goes down to the knees, legs, feet, toes. If at any point there is a problem of disease, the light encounters resistance. Push it forward with your mind and say, the divine light heals me. Observe yourself. You look like a fluorescent lamp filled with divine light. Gently say, I am peace. At the rhythm of your breath, repeat, I am peace. Again, and once again. Now say, I am health. I am health. Say it again. And once again. 
breathe in. Hold on to this well-being. Breathe out. The light is interrupted. The link established with the star is broken. But you are illuminated. Remember that you are light. And God loves you. Now that you are fulfilled, it's time to come back. Return to the place where your body is. Come back. Listen to the music. Listen to the music and keep your eyes closed. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Remember, whenever you have a problem, travel to your place of enchantment and tune in to the divine light so that you come back recovered and healthy. Now, open your eyes. If you feel pins and needles, it's natural. If you wish to yawn, do so. If you want to stretch, allow yourself. Now, you are once again in the objective world, in the world of form in the normal world. You already know how to conduct yourself. Let us begin this new visualization by taking up a good position. Breathe always slowly. As you breathe, relax. Let go all of your tensions. Allow your body to release you, spirit. The only way you can do this is by relaxing. Begin relaxing. As you breathe in a tranquil rhythm, modern life causes us many pressures of a psychosocial nature that make us lose our harmony. Conflicts of various origins that unbalance us. Difficulties which are in fact existential challenges that discourage us. But now you will be able to free yourself from all these afflictions by sending to your unconscious 
and a mental reprogramming everything that is necessary for a healthy and harmonious existence. Visualize a mountain. Visualize a mountain or a mount or a range of mountains. Whatever is familiar to you, visualize it. Now, transfer yourself there. It is nighttime and nature is festive. And you are at the top of the mountain. Let your eyes drop and reach the horizon. And you can still notice the last rays of sunshine. Note the other mountains are already in darkness. And the sky full of stars. Observe. You are alone. We are rarely alone. And now you are alone. Alone with God. God fills the universe and is beyond it. At this moment, you can feel him closer. Let him penetrate you. At a distance, you can hear the music made by the wind. The various sounds of nature. And you are all alone on this immense mountain or in the place of your choice. Walk slowly absorbing the oxygen, nature's purest and most rarefied oxygen. Breathe it in. Let yourself be filled by this blessing that maintains organic life, all life on earth. Breathe in gently. Hold it. Breathe out. Look at the sky once again. You might identify some of the stars if you are familiar with them. But taking your eyes down in a straight line, you can see in front of you at a long distance a star that is moving. You can see a moving star. Observe it. It is shining brightly. It is coming towards you. And you are dazzled. As you contemplate it, it is coming closer and closer. And now, it's only yards away. It has the size of a human body, and it has become one. Observe this body, the long robes, the white material the stoic head surrounded by hair with combs of a honey colored light or of golden color the beard over the slim chest 
mixed with his hair. The strong nose. Observe the lips. Full lips. Slightly open. And the eyes. Like two torches. The ample forehead. You know him. It is Jesus. It is Jesus who has come closer to you. Observe him. There he is. He comes a little closer. And you see him in all his glory, irritating a gentle light. He looks at you. The expression is one of tenderness. There is an air of melancholy, and he emanates much love. He seems to say to you without words, ask me for something. I have come to help you. Ask me for something. This is a moment, a very important moment in your life. Don't ask for trivial things. Meditate on something with a great meaning, something profound, something great. And when I count to three, ask him for it. Be brief, without justifications, without explanations. Think about what you will request. Think about it. Now, I will count. One, two, three. Now, ask him. He has already registered your request, and he opens his arms, coming closer to you, to embrace you. Embrace him. Embrace him. He melts in your arms and goes into you disappearing within you. Remember that he said, I am the life. And he is within you now, impregnating your immortal and triumphant spirit. Do not become melancholic anymore. Do not think about possible future disappointments. Do not allow yourself to hold unjustified, tormenting ideas. He is within you. So say this, I am life and a triumphant life. Say it again, and once again, say, I am happiness in life. Repeat it. I am fulfilled, and so I shall remain. Look at yourself. You are irradiating 
is light. Again, look at yourself. You are irradiating his light. Breathe it. Hold it. Breathe out. Say to yourself, nothing of a disturbing nature deserves my attention. When I return to the objective reality, I will conserve the presence of Jesus within me, and I shall be healthy, happy. Even when I'm faced with the struggles of evolution, in view of the challenges, I will remain healthy as I am now. Project this onto your conscious mind and reprogram your life. You deserve to be happy and you are happy. Now, now, it is time to come back. Come back to the place where your body is. Come back. Take it totally. Feel its organic sensations. Keeping your eyes closed. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Listen to the music in the air. Hear it. Open your eyes. Feel the sensation of well-being that you retain. Gently move. If you want to, you can yawn. You can stretch. Or whatever there might be, never lose touch with the sensation of well-being that you have brought back from the mountain or from the mount where you were. Hold on to this sensation and repeat the experience periodically, helping Jesus to answer your request. Through a positive attitude, an idealistic mind, a pacified heart, and thanks to the inner change for the better that you will make in this very existence so that you can be happy.